aerodynamics is really important in Formula 1, as more downforce gives the car more grip in corners, while less drag allows the car to go faster on the straight. One of the main tools for developing aerodynamics of the car is the wind tunnel. We use this to check whether ideas that look good in computer simulations actually work, and to analyse the effectiveness of the different concepts, components and upgrades. In real life, as the car goes along the track, it moves through the air. In the wind tunnel, we flip this around. The model of the car is fixed and we move the air over it, essentially by blowing wind with a large fan. Wind tunnels were originally developed for the aircraft industry and have been used in Formula 1 for over 50 years. Over time, the Formula 1 wind tunnels have evolved, becoming even more specialised. One of the biggest differences between the tunnels used in aerospace and those in motorsport is we have a moving ground. This is essentially a very fast conveyor belt that travels at the same speed as the wind, simulating in effect the relative flow between the road and the car. Whereas the real chassis is made from carbon, the centre of the wind tunnel model is a solid aluminium structure called the spine, which we bolt various components onto. This allows us to easily change one area of the car without affecting others. Most of the parts on the wind tunnel model are made using rapid prototyping, 3D printing and components like the wings are made of metal. The model is packed with sensors and we use different high-tech methods to gather data. We can also change the ride height and attitude of the model during the test to simulate how the car changes and navigates its way around the track. One run in the tunnel results in a huge amount of data to analyse. It all helps us build a picture of what the flow is doing and decide if a concept or upgrade can progress the track. Our wind tunnel has been designed to take a full-scale car and this has been done in the past, but the rule makers were concerned this was too expensive and so now we're limited to using 60% scale models. There are other restrictions that have been introduced to reduce cost. Teams are only allowed to use one wind tunnel and we can't run the tunnel faster than 180 kph, which is a little over 110 miles an hour. This may sound quick, but it limits our ability to completely simulate what happens on the track. There are also restrictions on how many tests we can perform. These have been in place for a few years, but further limitations have been introduced for the 2021 season. The number of runs a team can perform now depends on their position in the Constructors' Championship. The last place team gets 25% more runs than the first place team, with a sliding scale for the teams in between. The restrictions will be even tougher in 2022 as the FIA tried to bring the performance of the cars closer together. These rules have put pressure on us to make sure we get the best out of each run, forcing us to adapt the way we work.